So earlier this morning, the game announced that we can expect to see Title Update 17.2 launch tomorrow, Tuesday, April 18th. They gave us a ton of information to go over, my friends. So as I do every Monday, we're going to go through some of the details and more importantly, answer some of the questions you've sent the channel. What's up my YouTube family, Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video. And as I said a moment ago, fellow agents, we have a lot of stuff to go over today. So we are going to jump right into the details. Now, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor really quick and hit that like button as well. And you know about the giveaways here. We are having one for PlayStation 5. But as always, I will save that information until the end of the video. And the first thing we're going over today are the patch notes for Title Update 17.2, which is now on the known issues board for the game and as you can see TU 17.2 launches tomorrow Tuesday April 18th there are a lot of things to cover first of all they're going to be stability improvements to PC and hopefully that will actually stick as always if you play on PC please let me know what's going on as of tomorrow now in regard to the manhunt you can see that there is a laundry list of fixes that are being implemented now I don't want to waste your time and read everything verbatim but there are three that I want to point out really quick that I know a lot of you brought to my attention attention at the channel. First of all, they fixed the issue with the XP not being awarded after clearing the control points that are part of the manhunt. Fixed the issue with the players being unable to collect loot dropped by Bantam if he is killed before descending from the platform during the last beat of his takeover bounty and finally towards the bottom. And this is something a lot of you have been waiting to see for a long time. They fixed the issue with the DARPA mission remaining locked after completing the Pentagon mission. And as of tomorrow, if it is still not working, please let me know and I'll see what answers I can find out. Now, Moving on to some of the gear, weapon, and talent changes. Again, I'm going to give you a few highlights. Starting at the top, you will finally be able to craft the Regulus pistol. This has been something that a lot of players have not been able to do for a while, so as of tomorrow, that should be fixed. They fixed the issue with the Ninja Bike Messenger exotic backpack that was causing the previously equipped brand set bonuses to remain active after being unequipped or replaced. And sticking with the Ninja Bike, they also fixed the issue where if you were scrolling through the stats tab when you had the Ninja Bike equipped, there was a good chance your screen would go blank or the stats tab would disappear entirely that should be working and once again agents if any of these problems are still there tomorrow for you please let me know continuing on to some of the other changes they fixed the issue with the caesar's guard named chess piece of the empress international brand set dropping with the weapon core attribute instead of the skill tier core attribute Fixed the issue with the previously owned caesar's guard named chess piece having no core and attributes at all and finally on this page they talk about the fact that they fixed the issue with the headhunter talent being triggered by headshot killing wildlife this is all new to me and they also fixed the issue with determined and perfect determined being triggered by killing wildlife as well now moving on to some of the vanity fixes fellow agents and this again is more of an annoyance than anything else but i'm glad they're finally taking care of this stuff they fixed the issue with the enduring custom weapon skin not equipping on the black market akm fixed minor clipping issues with the various necessary tactics of apparel items fixed the issue with the aces vest die slot not changing the color of the vest and finally fix the issue with the ninja bike messenger exotic bag clipping with various shirts moving on to some of the fixes for the expertise system they fixed the issue with the information panel for the highlighted item not being updated properly for the mods and die fields fix the issue with the insufficient materials message appearing if the bench level is not high enough to upgrade now change to bench level is too low fix the issue with the exclamation marks in the expertise menu not disappearing after viewing the new item fix the issue with the highlighted item in the list not reset setting for sets in the expertise menu and finally fix the issue where scrolling through a gear piece of stats in the expertise system also scrolls through the items list. Now the game is also making some changes to the summit conflict and countdown starting with the summit they fixed the issue that allowed group leader to lock themselves in the summit lobby while other players from the group are going to the hundredth floor. For conflict they fixed the issue with players becoming invisible and applying damage to other players with skills after going out of bounds and finally when it comes to countdown they fixed the issue with agents below level 40 being able to start matchmaking for countdown at the base of operations pilot and they fixed the issue with the extraction zone text being flipped when the agent is inside the said zone now as i mentioned earlier agents i will leave a link to all of these patch notes in the video description down below that way you can check them out anytime you want now there happens to be one more thing i'd like to go over before i end the video and this is from something we received from division resurgence last week 
And this is something by now a lot of you have seen, but you can see the division resurgence said, Agent, there is a hidden message to find in this picture, and upon looking closer at the vehicle on the right-hand side. And upon zooming in, you can see the license plate says 0420-2023, and I know a lot of you are wondering, does this just have to do with the division resurgence? You've asked me if there's any information I can pass along. Now, at this point, while we do not have an official statement from the division, the division Heartland, or division resurgence, I have a feeling it is going to be a great day for the division universe. I'm really looking forward to this Thursday, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, I will get back to you as quick as I can. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. However, as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel, and I promise you once I have any tangible information to pass along, you know I will do that right away. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, we are currently having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced May 4th of this year. On that note, I'm going to leave you with some gameplay footage, but like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well, but most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.
One of the drone recordings. Meet me at the castle if you want to listen to it. <laughs> 